with the Pinellas County Sheriff saying that this man right here could have been Tampa Bay's next serial killer if he hadn't been caught. 20-year-old Elijah McCray is accused of shooting people at random in his Seminole neighborhood. They say he killed an innocent man as he was just walking his dog, shot another man who was sitting by a pool. That man survived. McKay, McCray rather, went before a judge this afternoon, and Fox 13's Gloria Gomez is live now at the Pinellas County Courthouse. Uh, always scary to hear about somebody out there shooting randomly, Gloria. Very scary to hear, Cynthia. I can tell you that the judge announced today that he's now facing first-degree murder charges and attempted first-degree murder charges, and the judge announced today he is not going anywhere. Elijah McCray went before a Pinellas judge this afternoon, facing serious felony charges. Mr. McCray, you're charged with attempted murder in the first degree and resisting an officer without violence. Do you understand the charges? Uh, yes, sir. On October 7th, McCray is accused of shooting a 40-year-old man at Bayou Court Apartments on 83rd Street North in Seminole. The man was shot several times with a 9-millimeter handgun but survived. Now he has a metal plate in his arm. One week later, his next victim wasn't so lucky. Eddie Lee Hoskins was walking his dog on 84th Lane in Seminole when he was shot and killed. The sheriff says a citizen's dash cam caught the shooting and a dark colored Lexus was seen speeding away from the crime scene. Both shootings, they say, were random. We're average citizens. We're really in peril. The sheriff says good detective work coupled with surveillance video led detectives to McCray. When he was questioned, they say he explained why he did it. McCray made statements to detectives that he was a, quote, contract assassin who worked for the government. But Sheriff Bob Gultieri right says far from it. Here. Gultieri says if McCray had not been caught, they were looking at possibly Tampa Bay's next serial killer. A murderer is off the street, and we stopped, I really think, uh, what could have been Seminole Heights 2.0. For six weeks back in the fall of 2017, the Seminole Heights community was terrorized by a serial killer who gunned down four innocent people at random. Hal Trey Donaldson is accused of pulling the trigger. That this was a true uh, public safety nightmare that was getting ready to unfold. McCray was denied bond again. In the meantime, his next court date hasn't been set yet, but when it does, he's expected to plead not guilty to the charges. Back to you. I think a lot of people are relieved, though, that he's still in jail, that's for sure. Thank you, Gloria.